Hello, I'm Ron Charles. I write about books for The Washington Post, and this is The Book Report. As you look for what to read next this spring, consider a few titles I've enjoyed recently. Curtis Sittenfeld's new novel, Romantic Comedy, is, surprise, a romantic comedy. It's about a woman named Sally who writes sketches for a TV show like Saturday Night Live. Now, Sally is determined never to fall in love with anybody at the studio again. But then, a good-looking pop star arrives to host the show, and Sally can't figure out if this is the real thing or a punchline. Rebecca Mackay's new novel forces us to consider how stories of murdered women are turned into lurid entertainment. I Have Some Questions for You begins when a popular podcaster is invited to teach at her old prep school. Arriving back on campus, she starts to remember the death of her high school roommate and the sloppy investigation that sent a black man to prison. More than 20 years later, could re-examining that case bring justice or just more mystery? Burnham Wood is the first novel from Eleanor Catton since she won the Booker Prize in 2013 for the Luminaries. This time around, Catton has delivered a thriller swirling around a plot of land in New Zealand. Some radical environmentalists want to use the land as a free vegetable garden, but an American billionaire is stealing a fortune's worth of minerals nearby. Both parties think they can use and deceive the other, but the results are a deadly disaster. Poets have always spoken their verse aloud, but about 50 years ago, a collection of voices emerged to create spoken word poetry, a vibrant new form of expression, celebration, and resistance that's attracted millions of fans. Joshua Bennett is one of the genre's most exciting and knowledgeable writers. When you reply correctly, as you always seem to do when I ask you difficult questions about oceanography, I'll probably just laugh, rejoicing over the fact that every time you smile, it makes the wrinkles at the corner of your eyes look like six willow branches, all lifting their heads from prayer in unison, the wind humming a somber hymn beneath its breath, just as our anthem jogs to a close, and I whisper in your ear, how did you know that I was the one? Bennett provides a wide-ranging cultural history of this form in his new book, Spoken Word. It's a story that takes him from the Obama White House to Broadway to street corners and cafes across the country to hear the song of America. Well, that's it for the book report. For more suggestions on what to read, check in with your librarian or local bookseller. I'm Ron Charles. Until next time, read on.